Hey boys and girls, today is Tuesday, April 14th, and well, whatever day it is that you're watching this video, we're going to continue our lesson on forces in motion. So here we go. So I'm going to start off with showing you here. Uh, here is what you found uh, today's video on, of course, for you right now, the video that you're watching is probably right there. And we're going to look at this slide. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on that link right there. And if you need to, you can use the username HEBISD and the password HEB2020, but usually it just opens up. And you watch the video about brain pop with brain pop pushes and pulls. So literally, if you just click there and click there, it will take you to the brain pop for pushes and pulls. And you can watch that video right there. It's not very long. Uh, I can't get to the end of it, so we're good. Anyways, all right, so um, there's that. After that, um, think about uh, how things move. Think about yesterday, we were talking about pushes and pulls, gravity, magnetism, uh, balanced and unbalanced. And then you're gonna follow the directions for the forces and motions sled lab on the next few slides. You're gonna be doing this lab over the next few days, okay? So here we go, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so here are the things that you would possibly need over here. You don't need all of these things, but this is something that, um, depending on what you choose to use, you could use cardboard. I'm actually using the lid of like a storage container, um, and then I'm just using a plastic container like this one right here. And then later on this week, I think I'm using some foil, and I'm using a sock, and some different materials, and then you'll need a timer. Um, it says right here, you're gonna find a small household item that you can use, like a small sled, zoom in on this right there, like a small sled. You have to be able to fill it with coins or pebbles to weigh it down so that your sled needs to be able to hold these things. Now, I actually didn't have to fill mine with anything in order for it to slide down. I was able to leave mine empty, so you may be able to do that as well. Um, and then here are some good examples. So you have an empty egg carton, you have a container right here, which is kind of what I'm using. Um, you have the lid to a box, you have a cup or a bowl or just about anything that you can use. And then you're gonna find a cookie sheet, cardboard, or something that's like a ramp. They're using some sort of box right here. This is a piece of cardboard. Um, and you're gonna wanna be able to prop it up against something like the wall or a table or a chair so that you can create yourself a ramp. All right, you're gonna fill your sled with coins or rocks so that it slides down the ramp. Remember to test the weight. If it's too heavy, your sled will not move. So if you put too much stuff in it, your sled's not gonna move very well. You're gonna place your sled at the top of the ramp, let go and use the timer or the watch to record how long it takes you to get to the bottom and then record your findings, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and show you what I did for my ramp. My husband is sitting there, so I'm going to come over here. I just used um, the lid of like a storage container that I had out in my garage and I propped it up against my little couch right here. Um, I was looking to see what other kinds of things you can use. I have like, a, I have this bench over here at my table. If I wanted to, I'd probably just take the bench and I could tilt it like this and I could put up something underneath it and I could let things slide down that. You have a big, big piece of cardboard, a cookie sheet, a cutting board, there's just lots of different things that um, that you could use, but this is what I chose to use. And then for my sled, I am just using a plastic container right here. Um, and it sled by itself uh, down here um, when I let go. And so I didn't think that I needed to uh, put anything in it. Um, but it is going quite fast, so I think I might not prop it up. So, oh, Sadie. I think I might not prop it up so high. I think I may use my little footstool that I have down here to prop it up. Watch out, Sadie Bell. Move, baby girl. All right, so I'm going to prop it up with that little footstool right there. And then I'm going to check and see and make sure it will slide down and I think that's a little better I don't I don't like that I had it so far up in fact I could do it even a little bit less if I wanted to but I think I'm gonna do it like that oh there goes my thumb or my finger or whatever Gosh, it wouldn't be I think that was all just sideways everything I just showed you my fingers all right there we go so um maybe not even that much maybe I'll try just a pillow let's see that works. All right, let's prop 
propped it up on a pillow that's on my husband's foot and he tried not to yell. All right, if I put this on there. Oh, you know what? I think I like that better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, so um, what you'll do is you'll put it at the top and then you will record how long it takes to go from the top to the bottom. Just use a phone or use a timer and you should be able to put it up here at the top and just make sure that wherever it is that you put it, you start at the same place every day. So if you start it like right here every day, the next day don't start it up here because you need to make sure that it's always the same every day. And then just record how long it takes to slide down to the bottom. And then once you do that, you will put your findings on the next side. There it goes. More people. You'll put your findings on this slide right here, okay? So right here, today is Tuesday. Item on the bottom of the sled. Right now you have nothing on the bottom of your sled, okay? And then how long did it take for the sled to slide to the bottom? The word seconds is already there. So you'll just insert a text box. There's my dog going crazy again because there's people outside. And tell me how many seconds it took, okay? And then fill in these blanks right here. My sled is a blank. So I would say my sled is a plastic container. I filled it with nothing. Or you could say rocks or coins or whatever. Say Val. It went down the ramp quickly, slowly, sideways, four ways, easily. Just put in a word. I used blank to make the ramp. So for me, I used the top of a um, storage container and it took my sled blank seconds or minutes to reach the bottom of my ramp. And that is all that you need to do for today. We'll continue this sled activity for the rest of the week. Have a great day, bye.